Morning YouTube, it's Joe here. Um, just got back from a pretty small car boot sale on Saturday morning. Um, so just uh, finishing off the last video of the week, um, showing you what I sold and what I picked up. Um, start off with this bag here yesterday. I actually picked this up yesterday for a pound. It was a bundle of old, um, of Duplo, quite old stuff. Um, it had uh, three of these old, really old style sort of truck bases, um, a few of the other bases, a few of these little figures, um, everything that was in there, it was all a pound, this is the really old Duplo as well, I don't know if you can see there, but the, um, yeah, the pieces, they're sort of almost like, almost like constellations, like turrets there, and nowadays the new ones are all rounded off, so, um, yeah, really old Duplo, but I don't know if that adds much value to it, but, yeah, I paid a pound for that lot, I'll probably just sell these bits, um, I might just give this away, um, but yeah, should get quite good money back on these. Some people are trying to sell these for about five, six quid by themselves. I'll just bundle it all up, maybe get about 15 quid back. Maybe a bit less. Okay, so this morning at the boot sale, very quiet. So again, you end up having to pay quite a lot of money for stuff. I got an amazing pair of um, Nike Air Force Ones, mids, uh, size five. They're the ones which, um, this stuff here is that reflective material. So if you take a picture of a flash on it, it just ends up going white. But really nice, paid six quid for those. Um, should hopefully get 25 to 30 back on them. Paid a lot of money for this pair of trainers, a pair of Nike Air Jordans, uh, Son of Low, Son of Mars uh, trainers. Um, these are women's, again, size 5. They're basically new. They've got a tiny bit of discolouring on here where they've been worn, but they're pretty much like new, and I paid 20, 20 quid for those. But I've sold a pair in much worse condition without the box for 45 before. I'll put those on at 60 quid. Um, and then if they don't sell, I'll knock them down to 55. But yeah, really pleased with those. Um, a Sony Discman uh, D133. Paid a pound for that. Um, it's got a little bit of damage, actually, to the LCD screen there. But I'll charge it up, see if it works. If it doesn't, I'll just chuck it. Um, nice pair of black 501s, 3030s. Paid six quid for those. I'll try and put them on at about 30 quid. And then a pair of... 501s, 34, 32, stonewash ones. They've got a bit of distressing on the on the pocket and a little bit on the rims, but the guy wanted 50p for them, so I gave him a pound because I wasn't going to take them off him for 50p. And also, he's a guy who sells quite a lot of stuff, so it's always worth sort of keeping on his good side because um, he often holds stuff back. In terms of things that I got going out the door this morning, um, sold this pair of Adidas Summer Deck shoes. Uh, for 20 quid, I picked them up for 6 quid last week, um, so about £7 profit in those £8 profit once I take off the postage. Um, I sold the remaining three of these Hobbits. I don't know if I made a mistake on these, actually. I knocked the price down uh, to £16.50 and sold them all pretty quickly. Um, was going to reorder some more through Game, but obviously Game have put the price back up, and so now maybe they're going to go for a bit more money again. But I just wanted to get rid of them, really. I didn't want to get stuck with them. But um, it works out, because they actually sent me an extra one by mistake. It basically means that I paid five, five quid for 15 of these. So that's, um, yeah, like 30p each for these guys. And they're selling for about nine to ten eleven pounds so overall it was it wasn't much work i did it all in a week and sold 15 of those ended up with these if i managed to sell all those could be about 100 pound profit and i didn't even have to leave the house for it and it was it was two listings so yeah really pleased with that um sold this humbug game for seven pound fifty so by the time i've posted that there's literally there's not really any money in that but just wanted to get rid of it and then this uh triple ray x-men first class um yeah, triple play. Um, I picked that up for £1.50 and sold that for seven quid pretty quickly. So, yeah, it was new and sealed. So, yeah, about £2.50 in that. So, um, yeah, quiet boot sale this morning. Might go out tomorrow if there's any. Um, I'll have to look in the paper and stuff like that. But, yeah, that sums up sort of my week of sales. I haven't totaled it up or worked out exactly what I've sold and sort of what the profit is. But I hope that gives you an idea as to what it looks like for a part-time reseller. As I say, I still work full-time. I do 38 hours a week. Um, so it's just sort of something in my spare time and at the weekends. But yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, and it pays for a few holidays, pays for a few extra bits that we, my wife and I do. So yeah, it's been good uh, speaking to you this week. I will continue to do the odd video, I think, um, but perhaps not quite as much. Um, obviously, it takes a little bit of time in uploading them. And I mean, I, I managed, oh, on, a, on a positive note, I managed to list um, 50 items this week, over 50 items. And that was the sort of task I set myself. And uh, yeah, I hope everyone has a, a good week. You've had a good uh, weekend of finds. And yeah, enjoy doing everything that you're doing. Cheers. Bye-bye.